The first step to connecting your Rode Wireless Go 2 Audio to your Rodecaster Pro 2 is to first make sure your devices are charged. So I charged these overnight in this case that I absolutely love. And we are gonna grab one transmitter, one receiver, make sure that we turn both of these devices on because I'm gonna show you two different ways that you can connect these to this. So first off, I'm gonna take the lapel side and just clip this right onto my shirt. And the reason I love the Rode Wireless Go 2s and the first Rode Wireless Go 1 version is because of simplicity, just to simply clip it on and just like that, we're all mic'd up. Now the first way I'm gonna show you is by using a cable. It's gonna be a quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter cable. This is one of the best ways that you can connect your Rode Wireless Go 2 to your Rodecaster Pro 2 because you probably already have this cable laying around somewhere, especially if you're dealing with any type of audio or live streaming or even a gamer. So using this cable, quarter inch on one end TRS and 3.5 in on the other S TRS as well, we're gonna simply plug this into the input number two on our Rodecaster Pro. Now that we're all plugged in, let's look at the settings of the Rodecaster Pro 2. We're gonna go into the green button, which is our channel two, and make sure that we have condenser selected. Then we also want to move the level to about 35 decibels. This is where I found to be more of the sweet spot for my setup. We're going to switch over from our Sennheiser MKH 50 over to our Rode Wireless Go. So now you're listening to me on the Rode Wireless Go. This is one of the easiest ways to do it with one simple cable. And like I said, you probably have this laying around somewhere. So as we switch and adjust audio, I'm back on my Sennheiser NKH50 microphone and I'm going to unplug from our Rode Wireless Go 2 here, and I'm gonna grab this adapter. This is a Rode XLR to 3.5 millimeter adapter. And when you bought your Rode Wireless Go system, it came with this cool little cable right here. So we're going to use this TRS cable that came included with your Rode Wireless Go. I'm gonna plug in the cable to one end, and then we're gonna plug in the adapter into channel number three for this setup. Now that we're in channel number three, we're gonna connect our Rode Wireless Go system. And we're just gonna let it dangle over the back because it is a shorter cable. We're gonna jump into our settings for our third channel. Make sure that we have condenser selected again. And for this particular setup, I noticed that I had to increase my levels to about 50 decibels, about 15 decibels more than the previous setup. So I'm gonna bring down the fader of my boom microphone we're bringing up the fader of our Rode Wireless Go 2. So now we are on our wireless system again. Two different methods to do the same thing. So I hope this video has helped you know how you can still use your Rode Wireless Go 2s and you don't have to wait on any other firmware updates, even though I am waiting on that update that will potentially allow us to use the USB as an input and connect it with our Rode Wireless Go systems as well. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos right here on the channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that red button below and I look forward to seeing you in upcoming videos.